what do you make of the recent shift from 62% to 65% as the underlying base price for pellet contracts? Yeah, that's, that's an interesting one, actually. I think it was um, something that has been a long time coming. Um, for many years, the industry has been discussing whether this shift makes sense. Um, but certainly this year, where we've seen a big uh, discrepancy at times between uh, spot prices for pellet and uh, the term contract, annual contract, um, those sorts of discrepancies usually lead to um, a, a breakdown in the, the existing pricing mechanism. Um, the shift to the 65% index as the base price for pellet contracts kind of makes logical sense given that it, it takes out some of the, uh, the, the chemistry and quality component from the pellet premium and leaves the pre pellet premium more reflective of um, the physical characteristics of pellet, the pelletizing cost. In actual fact, you could make an argument that it makes even more sense to, to have the base price being something like a concentrate index. Uh, seeing as all pellet starts as a as a concentrate mm. um, but potentially that's something that's uh, you know a bit further down the road maybe but certainly the shift to the 65 uh, marks a, a pretty logical first shift to to aligning the product better with the the um, you know the actual characteristics of pellet um, it also of course for the derivative means that there's now a considerable more uh, considerably more volume that is directly linked to the 65% index, um, so adds volume that uh, consumers may look to hedge and manage risk to. So it should also be a positive factor for the, the development of this contract.